the designated one to come up here. Oh, oh there's Coach Rose. Okay. Thank you. I have something to tell you. Okay. I'm really impressed with Max Hall and that he was the winningest quarterback in the history of this BYU. You know, you're on track to be the winningest basketball player in the history of BYU. But you got to do one thing. What's that? You got to come back and play. <laughs> uh, my name is Jimmer Fredette. I'm from Glens Falls, New York. I went to college at Brigham Young University. Um, I got drafted in 2011 by the Sacramento Kings and played in the NBA for five years. And uh, this is my sixth year out of college and my first time playing overseas and playing in China. So, uh, you know, here I am now. More of a journeyman than as a mainstay in the NBA and the D-League, Jimmy Fredette's moment in professional basketball looked like it was never going to arrive. But after landing a contract with the Shanghai Sharks, he hasn't looked back. An average of around 40 points has helped him overtake a record once held by legend Yao Ming. He passed Yao Ming's record of consecutive matches shooting over 30 points. <laughs> How did you feel about that? Did Yao say anything to you? <laughs> yeah, he actually he was the one that told me that I broke. Oh, the you record. didn't realize? I didn't know until he told me, and then I I, I, I apologized. I was like, I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't mean. I, I won't break any more of your records. I promise. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to do that. He's a legend here, but uh, you know, like I said, it's it's all about just trying to win games. Like I, I didn't even know about it until you know afterwards, and I don't necessarily you know want to know about it until after the season. You know, after the season, I'll look back at it and be like, wow, that was. That was really cool, but you know you don't want to focus on that. You don't want to get happy and complacent. You got to make sure to keep working as hard as you can. Do you realize what you're achieving here? Has that hit you at all? <laughs> or are you just taking no. every day as it comes? Yeah, I'm because, just taking every day as it comes. Because you're surpassing records. You're you're leading the team to new heights that they've they've never reached before, and yet you seem so humble. Yeah. Does does, is that is that something that you try try and always do? Are you just yeah. not are you not focusing on the attention? Yeah, no, you don't focus on the attention. Um, you know, we've we've had a great season so far, but we really haven't accomplished anything yet. You know, we, our goal is to make the playoffs, and uh, you know we still have to to work as hard as we can to do that. So I mean, it's been a great season, a great start so far, but you got to stay stay humble. You know, stay low, keep working as hard as you can. Um, keep your head down and just keep going and that's what I try to tell the guys you know we haven't we haven't really done anything yet we've we've done some good things to this point of the season but we haven't reached our goal and um, until we do that we can't we can't let down for a lot of foreigners one of the main issues in coming to China is fitting in with the different surroundings and with players from different cultures but for the 27 year old who is of the Mormon faith finding his place is never a problem you're also uh, a man of religion as well. You practice the Mormon faith. Have you been able to, to do that here? Is there a Mormon community or is that something that you, you, you can only really do on your own? No, yeah, there is a, there is a Mormon community here. So I've met a lot of uh, uh, people that have gone to BYU that have uh, invited me over to their house and uh, been very, very nice to me and been able to go to church and do different things here in Shanghai. So there is a, there is a, a Mormon community here. Um, so it's great to be able to have that and have people that I, that I know and, and that I can meet and have something in common with and be able to go to their house and hang out and just kind of have fun. You know, I saw, saw you train, saw you in the gym, you like to joke around, you, you're getting involved with the Chinese players as well. That doesn't always happen, I'm sure you've heard, that doesn't, that doesn't always happen. Are you just being yourself or are you making <laughs> an extra effort, be honest? No, I'm definitely being myself, you know, that's just the way that, I, that I've always been. Um, I always try to pe pe treat people with kindness and respect. That's what it's all about, that's how my parents have raised me. Um, everybody is the same, you know, everybody, you know, no matter where you are, you're not better than anybody else. So it's important that you're just kind and nice and just be yourself wherever you are. And I think if you're yourself wherever you are, you're going to play your best basketball, you're going to have the best time, and, and that's, what, that's what life's all about. It's not just about basketball, it's about having fun and being a good person. Jimmer has received a lot of love from the fans. His nickname, Jimor Dashan, means the lonely god. But with the support of his new team and his relationship with the fans, it means he will always have a home in Shanghai. But whether he stays after his one-year contract will be up to him. And what do you think about the future? Is, is it, can you see yourself staying in China? Or realistically, is it, do you want to make a name for yourself back in the NBA? Uh, I, I honestly, I'm, I haven't really thought about it yet. You know, I, I'm taking these games one game at a time and uh, not necessarily worrying about the future. I'm here 
for this season. It's only a one-year deal, so I'm excited to be here, and I have a lot more things that I want to accomplish as my, myself and as a team. And then I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, Jim and Fidet, you're quite possibly the nicest man I've ever met no, in basketball. No, no, no. I, wish you all I the appreciate best. it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.